There really is no single story that can describe the coronavirus pandemic. You could say it's best told in the millions of individual experiences. Here's CBS's Chip Reed. I feel a quiet, creeping insanity as I scroll from post to post. Christine Deng has kept a journal documenting her feelings during the pandemic, which took the life of her grandmother. Writing and journaling for me has always been a way to survive. Deng is one of 1,400 women participating in Women Writing History, a coronavirus journaling project for the National Women's History Museum in Alexandria, Virginia. Many share their frustrations, even anger. A doctor warns Mr. COVID to back off from one of her patients, but later that day writes, Mr. COVID, I just learned that you had no ears to listen and no heart. You just took her. One woman shared poignant photographs of life in isolation. Some turned their journals into works of art. Breast cancer survivor Diane Sanchez writes that her journal brings peace of mind. Grocery store worker Taylor Sampson cried tears of joy after getting vaccinated. And Lara Tenbarge says she felt empowered and capable after giving birth to baby Nora while wearing a mask. Women sharing their sorrows and joys in the age of COVID. Chip Reed, CBS News, Washington. What we've all experienced this past year. And I like that baby's name.